Hey there folks, my name is Luke. Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review where today I am showing you all how to set up the Sierra Designs Convert 2 tent. Now when it comes to the purchasing process when it comes to tents, it is vital to know how easy or how complex it is to set up a tent before you make that purchase. That is why we have these videos and of course it is to give you information just in case you need some assistance on how to do the setup. So let's get to it with the Sierra Designs Convert 2. Starting off, I'm using a ground sheet. This is to protect the tent and to keep it clean. Very simple. Step number one is to separate all of the components. Separate the fly, the poles, from the body. This tent has one door, so angle that the direction that you want it to go. Once you have the body laid out, it's time to move to the poles. You will have one pole with a bend in the middle, kind of forming a V. This is for your vestibule. You could set this to the side. Then you will have a gigantic blue pole that also has gold tips at one end. Now this is the main pole for the body here. There is one more pole to go. Now with the body pole, the end that is completely blue, that goes towards the foot box. The end which is longer and also has the gold tips goes towards the door. So once you have the pole laying over the top of the body of the tent, it is time to go ahead and begin attaching the pole to the body. You take the pole, you slide it in like so, and then lock it into place, just like this. Move to the other side. Do the same thing, lock it into place. Now with this process here, you could start at the front or you could start at the back, it really doesn't matter. All that you're doing is locking the poles into place. Just like so. Now it's time to focus on the top middle pole and the bottom middle pole. Clip it into place, then move to the front. So just as you did in the back, you connect the pole here in the front, and now we are in pretty good shape. So now that we have the pole connected to the sides, front and back, and in the middle, let's connect the body to the pole. As you can see here, the body simply snaps onto the pole. Just like so. So when it comes time to clip in this pole, make sure that the ridge line is on top. Otherwise, you will not be able to attach this clip here. I've clipped on the front. I'm now going to the back. I'm skipping over the middle ridge for right now. And that is because we have one more pole to add to the body. Now this one is a cross support pole. It goes underneath the blue ridge pole, snaps into place just like the others and then it snaps on to the blue pole. Once that is done, finish up with the body, connecting it to the poles. Now with this being a four season tent, you would definitely want to stake this out if you are preparing to go into a winter storm. Now for the sake of this video, I will not take that time and do that. In that situation, you would simply go around the body, staking it out, very simple. Now it's time to set up the fly. The end of the fly that has the black fabric, that is the front. That is where your zipper is, that is your access point to go inside of the tent. So we are going to throw this, drape this over the body. Now when it comes to this process, I like to start at the end, or the foot box in other words. You lay it down over the top. Now on the inside here, along this seam which goes over the arch of the back, there are some Velcro attachments, which you need to connect to that pole. Once you have the Velcro placements attached to the pole, then you have this little clip right here, and that will connect to the pole, just like so. So once you have that done, it is time to move to the center pole. Again, there are more Velcro placements here, which need to be attached to the pole. Go on to the other side, do the same thing. Once the fly is attached to the end, to the middle, you're moving up here to the front, repeat the same process. In addition to the Velcro, which attaches to the pole, you also have this clip, which attaches to this front ridge. It is time to move to the vestibule. That is where the blue V pole comes into play. On each side, you have a grommet. Once you have the pole into the grommets, attach the fly, both sides. Down here at the bottom, Grab this string, pull it nice and tight, then put it into place, just like so. 
Now that the fly is fully attached to the body of the tent, the poles, and so on, it would be time to stake out the fly. Now here in the mountains, it has been extremely cold, so the ground is 100% frozen. So for the sake of this video, I will have to skip that step. Here's some pro tips for you if the ground is frozen. Now, if you have a ton of snow, you could do a snow anchor. You can look that up or I'll show that off in the future episode. Let's say you don't have any snow, you can use rocks. Piles of rocks, tie it up. It works perfectly. It is at this point now that I would walk around the tent making all of my adjustments, making sure everything's nice and tight. I would then be staking out all of my guy lines. Here at the vestibule, the body, towards the back of the body, and at the rear of the tent. All right, so there you go. That is how you set up the Sierra Designs Convert 2 tent. All in all, it's a fairly simple process, but it is a very time consuming process. I have set this tent up more times than I can count. I'm very, very good at it. I know exactly what I'm doing. And even today, with these very calm conditions, winds around five miles an hour, this took roughly 15 minutes to set up. Now, in a stormy situation, it's even harder. It takes even longer. So without a doubt, it takes a while to set up this tent. But that is a common trait with most four season tents, not all. There are four season tents out on the market which you could set up just like that. But there is always a trade-off for that. You have the ease of use, but there comes poor ventilation, moisture control, and so on. There's always a trade-off. So with this tent here, super stable, very strong, but it is going to take a while to set up. When it comes to other very good four season tents out on the market, it will take a while to set them up as well. Fjall Raven, Heliberg, and so on, it's gonna take some time. That is a trait, a characteristic to a good fourth season tent. So now that you've seen how to set up this tent here, you can decide for yourself if this is the right tent for you. You know, as mentioned before, there are easier tents to set up for wintertime use, but there are pros and cons, pros and cons. If you guys have any questions, email me. Until next time, everyone, strength and honor. Take care.